Hi, I'm Rick Blair at Steel Wedge. Today, I would like to talk about statistical forecasting and best practices. There's a question I've been asked on multiple occasions. Do I need a statistical forecast? Well, let's start with why do companies forecast anyway? There are several benefits of more accurate forecasts. Improved customer service levels, increased sales, reduced costs of carrying inventory, improved cash flow, production smoothing, reduced employee costs, and increased return on investment. In basic terms, all manufacturing companies want to do the same thing. They want to have the right stuff in the right place at the right time. So then, is it better to use a statistical forecast or one made by a person? Well, a statistician would call this a choice between statistical and empirical forecasts. The statistical forecast is generated by a machine while a person or a group of people uses judgment to formulate a forecast. So which one is better? We believe both have their place. In fact, we recommend using both. So then, how does a statistical forecast fit in a collaborative process? SteelWedge recommends using a statistical forecast as a starting point. Rather than asking someone, such as a salesperson, to create a forecast from scratch, we suggest starting with an unbiased forecast based upon historical actuals. This is the statistical forecast. This should not be a black box final answer. Rather, it is the starting point of that collaborative process. It's a great input to start cross-functional demand planning. Another question that people ask is, are there cases where we should not use a statistical forecast? And the answer there is yes. New products, for example, pose a challenge in that there's no history. In this case, we suggest using a similar or like product to model the projections for that new product. Short life cycle products can also be a challenge because there's little history and little history can yield an unreasonable forecast. In some cases, volatility of historical demand can result in unstable or unusual trends. And finally, significant changes in demand patterns caused by acquisitions or other either company or external events can drive un unreliable forecasts. In some cases, we can adjust for these activities in order to drive a more meaningful forecast. In summary, a statistical forecast can be a great tool, but should not be the only method used to create a forecast. Using a statistical forecast as a starting point often proves to be a solid start to a collaborative demand planning process.